What's going on YouTube? What's happening? Brother 19 here back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Woo wee! Hope everybody's doing all right. Hope everybody is doing excellent. Hope everybody had a great day. Hope everybody is blessed. But real quick, you guys, if you're going through a bad patch in life, please understand some God loves you, God cares about you. Cast your cares on Jesus because he loves you. Jesus died so we can live and live life more abundantly. Okay? Stay blessed out here, you guys, and stay focused, okay? Whatever you're struggling with, whatever you're dealing with and everything, turn over to the Lord and watch him bless, okay? God is a faithful God, and he cares about you. There ain't no religion, okay? Jesus died and everything, so, excuse me, Jesus died so we can live, okay? You hold your head up. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care what your ex said, what your family, friends, or job said, and everything. It ain't over until Jesus said over, okay? So keep pushing, and you keep going, okay? Also, you guys, if you lost a loved one out here, please understand some day in a better place. They're in the hands of Jesus. They're in heaven. You maintain the faith and obedience. One day you will see them, okay? Keep the drive alive. You keep the dream alive. Never give up on your dream. Understand something, you guys. People are temporary, but Jesus is permanent. There's no expiration date on Jesus' love, but there are expiration dates on some people's love, okay? So I'm just letting you guys know that everything, you keep going and you keep fighting everything until the end. This ain't no time for you to give up. This ain't no time for you to throw in the towel. I mean, understand something. The harder the journey and everything, the greater the blessing if you stay the journey and make it to the end. Okay? Jesus want to see you finish everything at the finish line. He want to see you make it. But in order, excuse me, in order for you to do that and everything, you got to stay the course. Okay? Life is a, um, excuse me, life is a marathon, not a sprint. Okay? So understand that, you stay motivated, and you stay blessed. God got a blessing with your name on it. Dry those tears up, hold your head up. I don't care what's going on in your life and everything. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you, okay? Let him lead you. And I promise you, he'll make everything all right. Trust him. Trust Jesus and everything. Not this nonsense you hear out here. Trust Jesus, all right? In Jesus' name, hold your head up, okay? God has not forgotten about you. Hold your head up. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, your first time tuning into my channel, please understand something. I talk about real shit on my channel, okay? I ain't here to bullshit nobody. I ain't here to lie to nobody. I'm here to be honest with you, real with you, raw, unedited, and uncut, okay? This ain't nothing nobody gave me to tell you. This ain't something I wrote down on paper. This ain't something I'm acting on paper. This is coming straight from my heart to you guys, okay? I am not here to judge you. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I'm not here to make fun of you. I ain't here to point the finger at you. I have no heaven or hell to put you in. Okay? But I am here to challenge you to be a better man or better woman. Once you know better, you should do better. Okay. Also, you guys, somebody said some negative to you about my channel and everything. Please tell them to go straight to hell. Because I ain't got time for negativity. If you don't want to hear it, take your ass on somewhere. We're about real shit on this channel, not bullshit. All right? Now, if you want to hear bullshit, you're on the wrong channel. If you want to hear real shit, you're on the right channel. All right, you guys. Topic of conversation is today, it is called... The definition of value. I repeat, the definition of value. You guys, as you, as y'all well know, I don't know if y'all embellishing it or not, but as y'all well know, there's a lot of nonsense going around and everything about what is a high value man, what is a high value woman, or what value you hold if you got this and everything. Let me explain something to you and break it down, okay? Having a million dollars in the bank don't make you high value. Having a banging body as a woman don't make you uh, high value, okay? Gradual, excuse me, having a big old house, big old car and everything don't make you high value. What make you high value is your character. Understand some of you guys, people think accumulating material stuff brings their value up. What they don't realize and everything is your character and how you treat people that brings your value up. Material stuff, only thing it does is make you more appealing, but it don't make you more value, okay? Your value comes in everything, your character. That's why I tell you guys and everything. Uh, whatever how you were raised and everything, that forms your character. How you were raised forms your character. How your experience forms how you view life and how you view people. Okay? So understand that. You don't get high, I don't get high value and everything because I'm running around here, got 100000 in the bank, can drive where I want to go, buy this, buy that. That's not high value. Again, what good is a man having a million dollars or a billion dollars and everything but treat a woman like shit? What good is a woman having a banging body but got a messed up ass attitude? 
Understand something, every male is not a man and every female is not a woman. Remember, the male makes your gender, the female makes your gender. But it's the man, it's the woman that defines you. It's your character that defines the man or woman. Okay? So understand that. And now another thing, you guys. You want to increase your value and everything. To increase how you talk to people. Increase how you treat people. Especially if they're less fortunate than you. Increase and in everything. Excuse me. Increase how you treat your husband. How you treat your wife. Understand something and everything. If it's easy for a man or if it's easy for a woman to walk away from you and everything, that's because they didn't value you much. If it's easy for them to walk away, I don't care how many years, months, days you've been with them. If it's easy for you to leave a job and everything, it's that job that had no value to you. Understand something, you guys. Value is not defined by material shit. Value is not defined and everything by how much you got in your wallet. Value is not defined as a woman, how much you got in your ass. It's defined by how your character is. Again, what good is a woman having a beautiful body and everything, cute smile and everything, but you got a shitty attitude? What good is a man and everything, have a pocket full of money and everything, can buy or take a woman anywhere she want to go, buy her anything he want to do, but he's sitting cheat on her or put his hands on her? What good is it? I want to hear them about this high value bullshit. Who raised you? What mom and daddy put up here? Whoever raised you, with the streets raised you, your grandparents, uh, your auntie, big brother, mom and dad, who raised you? What did they put up here? Remember, our brain, I said this before, our minds is like a software to a computer. Whatever your parents put in there and everything, that's how you are going to behave. That's how you're going to operate, okay? Example, look at the movie The Terminator, okay? You guys may be a fan, you may not be a fan. Me, I'm a huge fan, but it got its principles in it. That's why I love the movie, the whole, oh, all of them. They got principles in it. Again, in the first Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger and everything, he was programmed to kill Sarah Connor. In the second one, he was programmed to protect John Connor. It was all about, I understand it's a movie, it's sci-fi, I get all that. But the principle is, whatever he was put in his uh, CPU, that is what he did. We're as human beings, we're the same way. How we were raised has a lot to do with our character. Has a lot to do, and if our experiences have a lot to do with how we see life. Again, me and you can be looking at the same window, looking at the same image, but see two different views. See things two different ways. It ain't because something wrong with my vision or something wrong with your vision. It's all about your experience, baby. It's all about how you were raised. A lot of people have been raised out here, but they ain't been raised right. That's the problem. So I'm just telling you, nigga, just cut out this stupid shit. High value, high value. Oh, uh, uh, modern day woman and everything. I said this before and everything. I don't want to hear nothing about no modern day woman or modern day man. Either you've been raised right or not. I've been raised and everything. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Open doors when you see a lady coming. Treat a lady with respect. Treat somebody the way you want somebody to treat you. Talk to somebody the way you want them to talk to you. That's how I was raised. That's why, again, I avoided a lot of trouble in life and everything because I don't spend my life trying to pick at people and mess with people and dull people, trying to put people down. I don't come from that. Wasn't raised that way. I wasn't programmed that way. And something else and everything, what I don't understand. How is it, as men, we can sit up here and disrespect another woman, respect a woman and everything, call her B's and H's and everything. If you were raised that way and everything, that's very unfortunate, it's very idiotic. You sit here and disrespect women and everything, but but when somebody disrespect a woman in your family, you want to get an attitude. Same thing with you women. Don't, don't get mad at a man for calling y'all the B word, but yet y'all call yourselves that. Y'all disrespect yourself. A man don't need to disrespect you and everything. You disrespect yourself. Coming all out of the house half dressed, walking around looking your looking down at your nose at somebody. But you saved though. Like I said and everything. That's why I, again. Again, don't want to hear no shit about well, what you have to settle for or what you got to dummy down to. There's only one person that walked this earth had to dummy down to anybody, and his name was Jesus. And it ain't no damn religion. His name is Jesus. He had to dummy down to our bullshit. He had to pick us up from out of our bullshit that we made, that we made as humans. He didn't look down his nose at us. He didn't say, oh, when he looked at us. So if he's not doing that and he's perfect and he got to went through all that hell so we can live. If Jesus ain't looking down his nose at me and everything, I ain't letting you do it. Jesus, I keep telling you guys, 
Jesus is the only person that walked this earth that can look you man or woman in the eye and say you ain't shit if he wanted to. He can look you in your eye and everything and say, look how you carry on. Look how you act. Why should I let you in my heaven? He's the only one that has grounds to say that to you. But if he show compassion and he show love like he always do, that exempt everybody else. That's why I don't want to hear no bullshit that I can say about no dummy down. Jesus the only one had to dummy down. Get that shit right. He's the only one who had to lower his standards for some bullshit that we be doing as humans. So I'm just telling you and everything. Go away with this high value bullshit. Your value comes from your character. Your value is not increased because you got material shit. That just makes you more appealing. But when you have something value, remember, when something is valuable to you, you don't let it leave. When something value to you and everything, example, somebody walk up to you. You ain't got to know them. And say they called you out your name. Say it all kind of means stuff to you. Depending on who you are, it may hurt or you just may laugh at them or roll, roll, let it roll off you. But if it comes from somebody you love, somebody you value, it's going to have a greater weight. It's going to have a much greater effect on you. Like I said and everything, if you a young man out here, some little goofy girl call you out your name or say this, say that, you may get mad, you may get pissed about it, you may even get a little upset about it. But it's a whole different thing when it comes from your mother or grandmother or sister, you know, somebody that's close to you because it has value. It has value. This is why and everything, uh, mothers and everything be so protective over their children, or at least should be, and everything protected over their children because that child has value. Remember that child started in the woman's stomach and it came out of her because she bad birth. There's value there. So I'm just telling you and everything. Values defined and everything by your character, by how you treat people, how you talk to people, how you go out of your way to try to help somebody. Understand some of you guys and everything. Work on getting your blessing insurance up. If you don't know what blessing insurance is and everything, no, it's not saying get off your ass. I'm saying blessing insurance and everything is simply put good in the world. Could walk around being arrogant, could walk around being bougie, could walk around act like you better than somebody. Put good in the world and everything, that good will come back to you. Remember, understand something, you guys. When you put good in the world and everything, God sees that. God sees everything we do. He sees everything. I don't care who you are. When you put good in the world, when you honor your parents, when you do right and everything, what ends up happening and everything, God saves that insurance up. That way, when you need a favor or you going through a bad patch in life and everything, God say, well, your insurance is paid up. Your insurance is good. You put a lot of good in. What would have happened to you didn't happen to you. Or if something worse could have happened to you, only some minor happened to you. If you get where I'm coming from. So I'm just telling you guys and everything. The definition of value is what's in here. Remember, just because you're 18 or 21 years old don't make you grown. It's about what's going on up here. It's about what's going on up here. Okay? You bring value to yourself by working hard. You very, uh, bring value to yourself by not making excuses, but you make adjustments. You bring value to yourself and everything, not screwing every cute little woman or female you see walk by you and everything, but treating one woman right. You bring value to yourself and everything, you treat one man right. A son trying to screw him all, mess him out of his money, or dog him, or putting him down. That's how you bring value to you. Understand something and everything. There's a reason why men, a lot of these uh, men, everything, don't value women, everything, that sleep around. They sleep around with every time they can hear it. They don't value them. That's why they screw them and move on. Sad reality, but true. And the same thing with these damn women. They sit here and everything, they uh, get a man out of his money, lie, cheat, play games, scam, do all this shit and everything. You don't care nothing about that man. You want to, you trying to get what you want. Same thing with the man, you trying to get what you want. And once you get what you want, you're gone. You know what's funny? about this you guys a lot of women say when a man especially nowadays because people ain't raised right well a lot of people say when a man walk up to a woman and talk to him they uh most women think the only reason why a man talk is you want to get in them draws let me let me let me quickly debunk that women say men want to get into their draws right don't you want to get in a man's wallet you want to get in a man's wallet right he want to get in your draws when you put them two together, everything that make a damn transaction. Draws money, money draws. You tell me. Where you raising that? Where you raising that? 
Again, what what did mom and daddy put up there? If they put bullshit up there, that's what you're going to act like. If they put, you don't need no nigga and all that, everything, that's what you're going to act like. If they, if your dad put in your uh, mind and everything, screw every damn woman you can and everything, that make you a man. Or just be careful and everything. Or hustling out on the street or gang banging or robbing people. If they put that shit in your head, that's how you are going to behave. It form your raisin forms your character. And your experience form how you view life. See, again, back to the Terminator. The first one and everything, Arnold Schwarzenegger was, was uh, as a Terminator, he was programmed to kill Sarah Connor. So what ends up happening and everything, he's a machine. So when Arnold Schwarzenegger in the, in the movie, when he sees Sarah Connor, the first thing he knows to do, kill. That's what he's programmed to do. Now, again, I know, it's a, I know it's a movie, whether you like it or not, and everything, I like it. Because I like the principles in it. What are you programmed to do? Again, what did they put in your head? What did they raise you? They tell you all men are bad. They tell you all women are bad. They tell you to go go date outside your race because niggas ain't shit. They tell you go date outside of your race, your race because you get because you don't want to hear about no black woman arguing or fussing about something. How were you raised? How were you raised? It forms your character. There's a reason why I ain't out here game banging, fighting, and shooting in and out of jail, acting statistically. It ain't because I can't. You guys seen my channel. You seen the guns. You seen how I uh, do this and do that and everything. You want to know why I don't do that? I wasn't raised that way. I wasn't programmed that way. I wasn't programmed that way. It ain't that I can't do it. I wasn't programmed that way. When I want to do evil, I know the Bible say when you want to do good, evil is present. But for me and everything, when I be wanting to do even everything, God stops me. God stops me. Because the first thing he says and everything, you weren't programmed that way. You weren't raised that way. Understand something, everybody. One thing I love about our Heavenly Father and everything, and again, ain't no damn religion. One thing I love about our Heavenly Father and everything, God knows the real you. Everybody run around talking about they did shit in the street. Everybody run around talking about they tough. Everybody run around talking about they bad. Everybody run around talking about they got this and try to make themselves look more appealing than what they really are and everything. God know the real you. Don't have God snatch that damn cover off you. Again, who you bullshitting? Who you bullshitting? God knows the real you. There have been times, you guys, God had to protect people and everything because God know all that noise you talking to that person or this person and everything. God know all that noise you talking. You ain't about shit. I don't care who you are. He knows that because he knows the real us. One thing, again, about God, you can't bullshit God. God know the real you. He created you. He know the real you. He know you be in there front and trying to act like you're a professional and act like you know got all this knowledge and all this women and everything. Don't know don't know your ass from your hand. He knows. He knows it. You trying to front in front of your boys and everything, acting like you all hard and everything. You know the shit hit the fan. You the first one screaming and hollering and running. That's what I be trying to tell you. Quit trying to be something you're not. Say what the hell you want about me if you a critic and everything. One thing I don't do, I don't false advertise myself to people. That I don't do. This is me. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Choice is yours. I ain't got time to be putting no damn facade on. I am who I am. And because I, the experience I had, that's how I view life. That's why when I step outside of my house and everything, every day, I make sure I'm ready to go. Now, some of y'all, there go again about the gun. Some of y'all see guns and everything. And you quick to jump and say what you need a gun for. You ain't had the experience I had. Like I said many times before and everything, don't give me this shit, you don't live your life that way. When have you ever seen me anywhere in the news robbing or killing somebody? When have you ever seen me anywhere in the news hurting innocent people? You're not going to, I wasn't raised that way. But my experience have taught me the stuff that I've went through and everything, don't leave your house without it. I'm sorry, I didn't grow up in Bougieville. I'm sorry. Love you, mom. Love you, dad. I'm off to college. Mwah. I didn't grow up like that. I grew up working hard. First job I had and everything was all uh, morning lawn. My next door neighbor got fifteen dollars every two, every Tuesday. It taught me work ethic early, and from when I, when I turned sixteen, and you know I had to get a work permit and everything. My first job was a busboy and slash dishwasher at Bob Evans. It taught you work ethic. My experience and everything taught if you want some out of life, work, not make excuses, work, and you will get it. You understand something, when you work your ass off of something and you actually obtain it, 
whether it's an education, a trade, um, getting out of debt or whatever the case may be, you appreciate it more. So that's the problem. People don't appreciate shit more, no more. Because every day, well, everybody want everything handed to them. And they don't want to bust their ass to get it. Ain't nobody hand me anything. I have more doors slammed in front of me and everything than the, um, ah, oh, shit. I have more doors slammed in front of me than anything. I have more people talk down about me than anything. I have old stupid ass family say this and do all kind of shit to me. Why you think I don't deal with them? <laughs> Once I find out you ain't for me, if you ain't for me, what are you? You against me. I'll get rid of you. I'll get rid of I will walk away in a minute. So I'm just telling you and everything. Value. When something holds value to you, you watch how you treat it. When something holds value to you, you try to protect it. When something holds value to you and everything, you don't go leave your husband because another man got more money than him. Despite him treating you like a, uh, like a queen. You don't know shit about this other man because he got more money than everything. That makes him high value bullshit. Same thing with you, man. You should have been messing around on your wife. You should have messed around on your wife. She should hold value to you. That's the one you said I do to. That's when you put a ring on. That's when you looked in her eyes and everything and said, baby, I love you and I'm going to cherish you for the rest of your life. Then didn't turn around and have a damn baby by her sister or a best friend or a cousin. Apparently, she didn't hold that much value to you. Like, apparently, you was bullshitting. When something holds value to you, you are very careful how you treat it. When something holds value to you and everything, be very careful how you go about things. You got kids, your kids hold value to you. I'm pretty sure you're not any real parent ain't gonna stand and let somebody harm their child because they hold value to you. When some understand some men and women, when some don't hold value to you, you don't care what happened to it. You don't care if somebody run over run him or run her off the road or kill them or whatever. They have no value to you. And sadly, in the black community, and everything there are other black people don't have no value to other brothers and sisters in their community. They didn't care less. As long as that shit don't happen to me, I'm good. That's their problem, not mine. But you for the people, though. Power to the people. Like I said before, everybody that wear this skin ain't black. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. All right? I'm going to let you guys know. The definition of value is what comes out of here. Your heart. The definition of value is how you were raised. The definition of value is not walk around arrogant and stuck up. The definition of value and everything where you can come home and be faithful to your husband and come home and be faithful to your wife. That's value. That's real value. Again, a man can get, um, excuse me, again, if that man get a piece of ass anywhere, a woman can get a damn gigolo anywhere. Somebody just money, you know, just throw money at them and everything, they happy with it. That ain't no damn relationship. That ain't no damn value. Choice is yours. You will find out, for my people who don't know, you will find out if somebody value you or not. When shit hit the fans, let me know how they treat you. I'll find out how my family valued me. That's why I'm fool with none of them. When I find out again, when I find out you won't, you won't give a shit about me and everything, why, why stay around you? Why be around you? So I'm just telling you. And I have a lot of people and everything, to my surprise, actually value what I say. I'm talking about my subscribers and people who support my channel. And by the way, I appreciate y'all for valuing what I'm saying. And a lot of it is the older crowd Because what I'm talking about That's how they were raised They were raised in this matter of bullshit That people keep talking about All this high value stuff And everything, all this nonsense and everything. They need to cut the dumb shit out Quit entertaining people and teach people Teach a woman You want to hold value to your husband Or hold value to your man Then watch how you carry yourself Watch how you treat a man Watch how you treat a woman That's the real value that's why a lot of men or women end up getting cheated on. Because they don't feel value. I ain't saying this right. I'm just telling you what's real. I'm just telling you and everything. If something don't hold value to you, you don't give a shit about what happened. Something don't hold value to you, you don't care about her feelings. Something don't hold value to you, you don't mind screwing her and walking off and leaving. No matter her emotions, her feelings and everything. Or she could get pregnant. You don't care. Because it don't have no value to you. It ain't no piece of ass to you. But something don't hold value to you and everything as a woman... You don't care how much money you clean out of his bank account or credit cards you get off and everything. You got that nigga. Well, I got him. I don't care. On to the next nigga. That ain't no wife. That ain't no husband. I looking for people who got morals and values. That's the type of woman I like. 
You can call it traditional, call it all that bullshit you want to. It ain't traditional. It's being raised right. It's treating you, treating people in your life correctly. It's if you see somebody helping everything. This other day, you guys, um, about a week ago and everything, I saw a lady, and it hurt my heart and everything. I saw a lady eating out of the trash can. Eating out of the trash can. We up here sitting about talking about bullshit on social media and everything. You got people eating out of trash cans. Don't have no place to go, no food to eat. But you want to ask, am I high value? If a man don't make 100000 a year, he ain't high value. What the hell wrong with you? Like I said and everything and something else. Why, again, why are we as men or women keep putting expectation on somebody we have not exceeded in ourselves? You want a faithful woman and an honest woman and everything, but you sit here and cheat on every damn woman you've been with. How do you expect somebody to be faithful to you when you have a history of being unfaithful to other people? That's a foolish expectation of somebody. Same thing with you, ladies. Excuse me. Same thing with you, ladies. How you want a man make $100,000 a year or make this or own this business and everything? What do you own? How much do you make? Don't put an expectation on somebody if you have not exceeded or accomplished it yourself. That's the only thing I'm saying. Like I said, when you spit the truth and everything, don't nobody want to hear. But people pay a million dollars to hear and get entertained with bullshit. I'm just saying. The shit ain't right. The shit ain't right. Choice is yours. If something holds value to you, you will treat it. You will respect it. If your parents hold value to you, you wouldn't disrespect them. If your wife hold value to you and she's crying and everything, you would try your best to help her. If someone, if your husband hold value to you and everything, you won't sit there and keep putting them down, especially when you get in, in the presence of your friends and family. If he hold value to you, if he don't hold no value to you, you would dog the hell out of them. If don't hold no value to you, you would cheat on her in a minute. But you love them. You love them. Bullshit. It's right at 19, you guys. I hope y'all got some out of this and everything. And I hope y'all understand what, what real value is. Value is not having a million dollars in the bank. Value is not having a fancy car or fancy house. Value is not keeping up with the damn Joneses. Value is how you treat people. Value is how you raise. What's in your heart, what's in your mind, what's in your soul. What's in, what's programmed in you. What mom and daddy put up here, that's your value. Like I said again, if I have a million dollars and I treat you like trash, am I a high value man? Am I a high value man? If I got a, a nice car and everything, but yet you see another woman riding in my car and when I'm married to you and everything, am I a high value? If you a woman and everything, and you married, you married to me and everything, but you come out of the house with your ass out and your breast out trying to get attention, trying to get attention and everything, and yet when a man oh, come give you attention, now you want to get an attitude. Now me and him getting an argument. Damn, they're fighting, probably end up shooting at each other over your bullshit while you ride off. Like I said, value by how you carry yourself. Value by how you treat people and care about the people and everything that's in your life. Let's cut out the dumb shit. Who raised you? Who raised you? Who raised you? If they raised you, what did they put? What did they program you? What did they program in that head of yours? It shows every day. It shows every day in my life and your life. They program bullshit, that's what you're gonna do. They program uppiness and bouginess and stuck up and house nigga and everything. That's what you're gonna do. Just saying. Threader 19, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Y'all be blessed. Remember your value. Know your value. Know your value. And don't, don't let nobody rob you from it. Y'all take it easy. Be blessed.